Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another video. I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time but I never really found the time to finish up with the setup in my Oristel A5 wide cloud planner. I feel like that's always a mouthful to say on camera but um, as you guys know I've been having this since the end of December and I've been using it since the beginning of January. So for almost three months I've been using this planner for both my monthly as well as my weekly and daily inserts. So this is something that I definitely have been sticking to and I have not strayed away. Now I don't know what's going to happen in the future but for now I thought that it'd be perfect timing to to finish setting up this video and kind of give you guys a little flip through of what's been going on in this planner. I also will be talking about bit about the spreads in this planner that I do have planned with me for here on my channel so if you guys are ever bored or are looking for something to watch um, I do have a whole playlist of plan with me's that you guys could watch so yes let's go ahead and get started like I mentioned this is an Oristel A5 wide cloud planner she came out with these at the end of last year and she is currently I think restocking I'm gonna say monthly but I know now with like everything going on. I don't know how accurate that information is but um, I do have the pink color which is called First Blush and this is a vegan leather planner. You do get a little button here. I'm not going to talk too, too much about it because you guys have seen me already unboxing this planner and everything so let's go ahead and just start with what's inside um, because I do have quite a bit and she is a little bit chunky and you guys will see kind of why. So I do use the last little button that kind of gives a little snug feeling so i'm gonna go ahead and open it and this is how the inside look which every time i open this planner i just instantly get so happy because all of this is basically a reflection of me my personality the things that i love and it just all goes together and it makes my heart happy so making this video definitely brings a smile to my face i hope it brings one to you too okay so let's go ahead and start with what's on the left side pockets and this little side i saw jesenia from the planner sophisticate do this. this is just a fox and pip little um, business card that she was giving out a couple of months ago and i saw her put it here and i thought it was just so perfect to do and it just is glam right here so i went ahead and did that i guess i can zoom you guys in so hopefully you guys can see that but that's there and then um i just saw Andrea's video from SPC and she was using this same acetate by Sparkly Paper Co and I saw her do this in one of her little pockets too so I went ahead and just used the leftover little acetate that I had from that which this is on I want to say Pixie Hollow um, foil if you guys are wondering and this is a collaboration with Fox and Pip. I've I think I hauled this, I want to say a couple of months ago before I even got my A5 Cloud Planner. So for the longest, I was looking for a way to use this. And I'm so glad that I found um, a way. And I have a little journaling card here, which is one of my favorites from Simply Gilded. It just is wild here with some pink leopard print, which if you guys know me, you guys know how much I'm into leopard. So I have that there. And then I have some stickers by Paper Shire. These are some little YouTube buttons, which... I use all the time in this planner so I just decided to just keep it in here and it goes kind of with the theme of like the pinks. Then right here I definitely as you guys know I definitely had to add something that was red because that is my favorite color. I have this really cute fox and pip bow by Pictos and Pockets. It's just so stinking cute. I first I think saw one of my friends on Instagram her name is Susie have this in her planner and I thought it was just so cute and I loved it so I went ahead and got that and I just have them little pocket here and then in this little pocket I have um little fox and pip girls and these were essentially supposed to be like your friends and like building your squad but I, I don't know why I picked two of me and they just look really cute and this one has like a pink little dress and since it fit perfectly in this little pocket and I didn't know what else to put I just went ahead and put them there especially because I haven't really been using these as much as I would want to so it just goes there so it's cute you know my planner I think it's a mixture of decorative pieces as well as very functional pieces to me on a day-to-day -day basis so that's kind of what I have there and then I have these really cute um, star boxes now I think this is the most recent collab that she did with Fox and Pip um, so you guys will be seeing this in my haul just act surprised when you guys see it in my haul <laughs> is all that I ask and this has the pixie hollow foiling 
but I think this is so cute. Love it. Before that, I did have this one though from the collab with Annie Plants Printables, and these were the brown checkered star boxes. As you guys can see, this doesn't really go with the theme, but this is what I've been using. So I kind of just keep it behind this now that I have this other one. And it just looks so perfect. And if you guys are wondering what this vellum or where this vellum is from, this is also a collab with Annie Plants Printables. And this is from a shop called Simply Watercolor Co. She was selling um, this set of vellum. So the ones that I'm not using in my actual planner. I just went ahead and tuck behind there. And it just looks really nice right there, I think. It kind of pulls everything together. So that is what I have in the left-hand side pockets so cute so in love now let's move on with what is inside of this i'm going to go ahead and start with the dividers because i always get questions on these um these dividers i got from an essay shop called the panda pig i'm almost certain that's the name but of course if you guys are looking for anything in particular or any shops that i mentioned i will leave a link for them down below just so just to make it easier for you guys so i got these dividers they come in fours and of course i had to get the red glitter because i wanted to definitely tie in that um, red with the uh, fox and pit bow i tried to allocate them as best as i could but i do have more than i think four sections i want to say you guys will see it's kind of it's a it's kind of a complicated system because i've been wanting to try out different inserts different layouts just to get my creative juices flowing and just out so that um eventually when i i don't know go back to like a coiled life planner or maybe i'll stay here i don't really know yet <laughs> i want to say so you guys will see kind of i think it's definitely an organized mess so we have once again the sparkly paper co acetate and collab with fox and pip and then these are the vellums that i'm talking about from simply watercolor co that is on top of a uh, monthly insert from Jasenia printables I really love these. I just think they're so cute. And she specifically came out with some for different rings planners as well as for this specific size, which I do appreciate because I know a lot of shops aren't doing um, things like dividers for this planner or um, just vellums or things to decorate this planner. So yes, um, that's what I have. And my first insert here that I have is my monthly insert. Now this is not the monthly that I do on camera with you guys. This is kind of the simplified, more functional version for me personally i'm going to skip to april because i've already of course um filled in march and i went ahead and put one of these little tab magnet things if you guys are wondering where i got these from i got these from universal studios so this is kind of their hello kitty collab and it came in a set of two so i have the other one somewhere in my planner right now too but i like to kind of mark what month i'm on and this answer just really gets me situated with what i have to do i always like to mark when cash envelopes and dividers are due to go out um here in my calendar so i do use little stars for that as well as in the other months i've marked when i get paid um, if there's any holidays if there's any special events just things like that i like to mark in here and then on this side, you have your section for all of your bills. So I do like to put recurring bills as well as how much the amount is, the due date, and when they're paid. I like to do this just to really have it in mind. Of course, I have a more specific way of tracking my bills and expenses in my budget planner. But this is just something to reference um, throughout the month while I'm already here in my cloud planner. So I really like these monthly enters and I have been using them since the beginning of the year. So I will probably continue to use them up until I'm no longer in this planner. But I've already printed of course the whole year so that is one of the inserts that i have in the first one then i have these little tab covers from aura still i went ahead and picked up her bundle of inserts when i bought the planner and these of course have all the tabs from january through december i currently have all of them here just because i feel like if i keep just the three it kind of looks awkward i don't know that is just what's been working out for me but eventually maybe i'll go ahead and take the last six months who knows um, but that's kind of that so this is separated from the monthly and now going on to my weekly this is my second divider once again from the panda pig and once again, I went ahead and layered one of these sparkly paper co acetates on top of a um, Simply Watercolor Co vellum. So it's definitely a little bit of layering, not too much, 
but I really love the outcome and how everything looks, especially with the red, because you guys know how much I love red. So that's that. Um, I also have one of these big leopard clips from Ollie Block. Once again, I love leopard. So I'm keeping most of my weeks from the very, very beginning of the year in here up until my birthday because I have yet to post a picture for this. I think just this week and last week, posting pictures on Instagram hasn't really been my priority um, because I'm trying to still, you know, process everything. But um, definitely the next part that I want to post a picture of on Instagram is this one. So I want to go ahead and just give you a little flip through of the past weeks since the very beginning of the year and I was in the beginning using the week on four page layout by Justenia Printables. So you have your hourly and your vertical layout all in one. So I used that for quite a long time actually. All of these um, weeks are in that same layout. But as you guys know from my last plan with me, I just switched layouts to just the regular hourly one from just saying printables so this is just kind of how the weeks have looked i really loved planning in this um sort of layout and in the cloud planner it's just something different and like i've mentioned it really just gets my creative juices flowing and it makes me really really happy to look at as well as to plan it on camera for you guys so that's what's been going on here and then it ends in this last week which is not last week but the week before that so that is the end of this. So after this is where my more functional section comes into play, which is where I keep my daily inserts. Now, for a long time, I kept all of my daily inserts. So all the way from January through March, I was keeping every single page in here, but I realized that that really wasn't necessary for me to do because I've already been done with January and February and I already do have the weekly spreads to you know kind of prove my plans so I decided to take out all of the daily inserts for the prior months with the exception of the monthly view within the insert so I have here my monthly view which I did make a video for this and I love how the daily inserts have the monthly view so even though I'm missing out from the weekly views in my hourly life planner I still have my monthly view which is I think really essential for me um, to plan my month out so this is how January looked and this is a little tab for February and then and here I, I haven't done anything with the notes pages per se um, just because that hasn't been my priority my priority has just been to plan in the monthly view which oh, this is one of my favorite spreads but it does seem awkward for me to just leave this page here so I just leave the note page in there and I might just end up I don't know or taping these together I'm thinking so this was this month and then moving on to March now for March like I mentioned I've changed up my layouts although part of March was actually in the other layout but this is kind of how I'm spreading it out so that it's not um, extremely weird and this is the last plan with me that I did on camera for you guys. So I'm back in my hourly layout. I really love it. But I think before I make any decision as to what layout I want to be in, I definitely want to next try out the vertical layout. So kind of a sneak peek right there. So that is kind of that layout, of course. And then we move on to our monthly section, which is the month that I'm currently in. So I have one of these monthly vellums. And once again, the little note page, because imagine how awkward it would be if that vellum was on top of this page. It just doesn't look the greatest, I don't think. <laughs> um, so that's that. So this is my monthly view for March. And then you guys can kind of take a look at how I plan in my daily inserts. Um, not too, too much. Kind of a week where there's nothing. So you guys don't see all the mess in there. But what I like to do with the daily insert is in here I will put what video I'm going to upload for the day, how my schedule looks like throughout the day, and to-dos. And in this section in the past, I've put just special events, people's birthdays, or I know for a week my sister was giving me inspirational quotes to put in here, so that's kind of an idea. So I have the rest of the month there, and then I just have all the other monthly tabs in here because, like I mentioned, I don't know what else I'm going to do with that yet, but that's kind of staying there. Um... For now the last little tab that I have here is a notes section for me and this 
is really a catch-all sort of part. I have in here patron feedback. I have in here my mock debt payoff and debt snowball spreads in here. I'm not going to show you guys all that, but in here I just have the note pages that came in that bundle that I purchased from Oristel. So that's kind of what's at the end of the planner. Um, I haven't found a page lifter, uh, but if you guys know of any places that sell page lifters for a5 wide planners go ahead and let me know and then the last section um the right pocket is not very very cute or to the theme but it's definitely functional items that i use on a day-to-day -day basis and on a monthly basis too i don't have anything in this pocket i honestly don't put pens in here because i have a lot of planners that i plan in and i just go ahead and put all my pens back in my little pen um holder so these are really not getting used but in that last pocket i have stickers from past petite daily planners that i've had from erin condren i really like to still use these in my daily inserts so that's kind of what i keep in the back of that and i also have some sticky notes from erin condren and i use these from whenever i'm pre-planning my months so that's kind of what i have in here and with that being said that is pretty much gonna be it for this sort of setup video and i guess flip through so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already i hope that you guys are all doing good staying safe and sane and hopefully i will get to see you guys on my next video bye guys